The next song we're going to learn the chords to is a fiddle tune called Blackberry Blossom. And uh, this is an excellent uh, exercise. It's a pretty song to play and fun to, to learn for students. But it's a great uh, chord exercise as well because the chords change every half measure in the A part. And the B part, you have a minor chord and a seventh chord, which gives you a chance to, to uh, stretch your knowledge a little bit, whereas you may not have played a minor chord in the songs you've learned so far. Being as Blackberry Blossom is one I normally teach to students fairly early in their banjo lessons. Okay, now I'm going to play the chords to this in the four finger chord shapes. Hopefully you've mastered those. I encourage you to master them ASAP. If you haven't, it will be really helpful to you. You need these four finger chord shapes to be able to mute the strings and give more of a percussive sound as you play this back up. And some of the ones I've demonstrated so far, I've played chords like C down here, for instance. And and actually, I have a technique that I had to kind of come up with just to kill that one string from ringing. But anytime you're pinching on the open strings, it gets kind of noisy and you don't get that percussive sound. It's just too much noise, really, to do it that way. You can start that way if you haven't mastered these chords, but that's the purpose for getting these chords down so you can mute the strings. Okay, let me play uh, through Blackberry Blossom for you. Um, I'm going to... You can jot this down. I'll go ahead and play it for you and say it out loud. It's G. Now, all these are going to be half measures as we go along. One thumb pinch per chord. So here's G, G, D, C, G. C, back to G, A, D, G, D, C, G, C, G, D, G. And it's going to repeat that. You may have to back up the DVD to, to jot those down, but if you can memorize the, the sequence, you know, G, D, C, G, C, G, A, D, you just memorize that segment or that, uh, that progression, and remember that it's half a measure each. Play it twice. Okay, now the second part is, uh, goes to E minor, and it plays E minor for three measures. So we're going to go like this. And now it's going to go to a chord called B7 for one measure. And you can play B7 a couple different ways. I'll go ahead and play it this way, which is usually the first way you learn it. Okay, It's a B chord. Add your little finger out here to the seventh fret. In reality, I probably would play it here, which is a B chord in the F shape. And then you make a position like that, which is bar on the top two, middle finger there on the on the uh, eighth fret, and then the ring finger on the ninth fret, four string. Okay, and back to E minor. That's two measures of E minor there, half a measure of C, half a measure of G, and half a measure of D, and half a measure of G. Now, if you're picking those, those uh, chord changes or picking through those chord changes and it gets to a half measure, just play four notes of the roll or the first half of it or any combination that equals two beats before you change the chord and then play the other two beats of the measure on the, the chord you're changing to. Okay, let me uh, give you an example of picking through uh, the chords to Blackberry Blossom. And I'm going to give myself a little freedom to, to change where I play the chord or the chord inversion I played in just maybe to make it sound a little better. And... Um, if it's okay, I want to mix up my roll a little bit. It's hard for me to stick with the same exact roll, but you'll get the idea. Play through the chord changes with a roll. Here we go. Starting on G at the 12th fret here. And the second part.
really didn't mix up the roll too much. I used a lot of the forward reverse roll. That one really works very good with that because uh, it's easy to split the measure. And you change the chord on the back half of it there. I would encourage you to pick through those chord changes quite a bit before going to the next track. And then when you get there, try to play the arrangement that you've learned and also fill space with um, playing through the chords and using different roles.